It's a terrifying thing when you're caught, when there's no one else to blame, when it's all on you and you know it. It seems like there's no hope. The whole weight of the world is on your shoulders. And now, now what do you do? How do you survive after your sin has been exposed? And you're the only one to blame. There's some pictures of this in the scriptures. We see Peter. Peter has denied Jesus the third time. And the scripture tells us that Peter looked and Jesus was looking at him. He knew what he did. He denied his Savior and his Lord, and Jesus was looking at him. There was no one else to blame. It was all on him. Or if we go into the Old Testament, we can see the picture of David. David continued to sin one after the other. He had a relationship with Bathsheba. She was pregnant. She was also married, by the way. And then he devised a plan and had her husband killed. David thought he got away with it, but again, he was caught. Nathan, the prophet, stands before him with his bony finger poking it into David's chest. You are the man. David, this is yours. You did this. No one else. Where do we find hope in that? And the whole weight of the world and the whole weight of my sin is on me. I can't blame it on anyone else. It's on me. And there are going to be consequences for me. There are going to be consequences and my world is going to change. And I feel completely alone. Where do we go for help? Well, the same place that Peter went. And the same words that David heard. When Peter had had betrayed his Lord three times and Jesus looked at him and he knew it. It was after Jesus' resurrection where he comes to Peter and he restores him. Peter, feed my sheep. Peter, feed my lambs. And for David, it was the prophet Nathan who said to him, you will not die in your sins, that he was forgiven. That's the hope that we have. Yes, because of your sin, your world might very radically change. But even in the midst of all of this changing, one thing is the same. You're a child of God. You're forgiven by the blood of Jesus on the cross. All of the things that we hear on Easter Sunday, Christ is risen, death is defeated, sin is paid for, that is all still yours. You see, when we see our sin, when we confess our sin, we lay it at the hands and the feet of Jesus, and he pronounces to us Easter hope. You're forgiven. You're still loved. Jesus will still be with you. His promises that he gave to you are still yours. No matter what you've done and how that will change your world, the love of your Savior has not, will not ever change. This is hope. This is Jesus and the forgiveness of sins for you so that you might continue to live when your world is changed. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.